现代化的都会风貌、西班牙的文化建筑，加上这海天一色的自然美景风光，这阳光灿烂及慵懒的休闲步调，就是被昵称为美国最美好的城市——圣地亚哥。这个位于南加州，离洛杉矶仅两个多小时的蔚蓝城市。早期是由西班牙及墨西哥统治，在城市发展初期，大量的西班牙人来此地经商。后来由于地缘的关系，墨西哥人也大量涌入，造成现在美、西、墨三国文化交融的盛况。圣地亚哥处处可见的西班牙式建筑及墨西哥式食物。便是文化交流下的产物。圣地牙哥虽不及洛杉矶和旧金山那样有名，却是一个很棒的城市，充满活力、流行及古典文化。市区及郊区的人口总计近两百万人。这里的天气几近完美，阳光、干燥、气温。全年适中，是个旅游与退休的最佳地点。首次拜访圣地牙哥的人都会着迷于这里美丽风景、悠闲的生活及洋溢着异国风味的建筑，觉得不虚此行。事实上，圣地牙哥市中心一度面临被时代淘汰的厄运，很难想象在这个。濒临美丽海湾的大片街区，竟然在二十世纪六零年代时面临人口流失、郊外房屋年久失修、流民满街躺卧的萎缩景象，也被观光客列为拒绝踏上的旅游景点。就像人有生老病死一样，城市也有自己的生命周期。放眼美国各地，曾经辉煌一时的都市，如今陷入凋敝破败的例子比比皆是。然而，圣地亚哥的市中心却有幸经历一番都市更新。前市长彼得·威尔逊， 1 9 7 1年出任以来，以大手笔的气概与前瞻的眼光，振兴老城区，点燃了市中心最有名的地点。瓦斯登街区的生命之火，经过一代的人不懈努力，终于恢复市中心的活力。这项都市改造工程主要着眼于最具历史风貌的瓦斯登街区，这是北起百老汇街，南到电车轨道，西起太平洋大道，东到第六街的一片地区，横跨十六个街口。这里街道井然，高厦林立，百年上下的楼宇尤其多。开埠之初，电灯还不普及，每天日落时分，便有市政工人沿街点燃路旁一盏盏昏黄的瓦斯灯，瓦斯灯街区因此而命名。这里的酒店很多是历史悠久的老建筑。像是这座坐落于繁华市中心的 The U.S. Grant Hotel 就显得相当低调，找了很久才在一个很不显眼的地方找到饭店的招牌。通常招牌越小，来头越大。原来这栋建筑已经被列为国家历史古迹，是知名企业家格兰特二世以他父亲，也是美国第十八届总统。格兰特先生的名字命名。这个酒店接待过许多知名人物，饭店几经转手、重新装修之后，于二零零六年重新开幕。现在隶属于 Starwood Hotels and Resorts 集团的 Luxury Collection。这样光荣的历史背景，让饭店即使坐落在繁华闹区。也静静地，自然散发出典雅傲人的风范。Good morning and welcome to the U.S. Grant Hotel. 
in San Diego. My name is Doug Korn and I'm the general manager here at the historic property uh, located in downtown San Diego. Uh, we celebrated the centennial anniversary on October uh, 15, 2010. Uh, and we're going to have an opportunity today to take a look at some of the features of this beautiful and historic hotel. Uh, the hotel has been named after Ulysses S. Grant. Uh, it was built uh, by his son and daughter-in-law to honor the Civil War hero and 18th President of the United States. We do have a, a portrait of uh, Ulysses S. Grant, the President, that was installed in the lobby of the hotel at opening uh, and through the years has had um, you know, different stories attached to it. Uh, back in the 20s um, when uh, Wyatt Earp and a number of the gangsters were um, in town knowing that this hotel was used as a mecca um, for some of the, the gold and the wealthier. Um, there happened to be a shootout and one of the um, eyes, left eyes was actually shot out um, during the time, but it has been restored and beautifully um, uh, positioned here in the historic lower level of the hotel. Uh, the hotel is currently uh, owned and operated by the Sequan Band of the Kumeyaay Nation, um, who is very, very proud owners, a local Indian tribe who purchased the hotel in 2003 uh, and had an opportunity to come back home to their native land um, here in downtown San Diego, which was inhabited by the Kumeyaay Indians for thousands of years uh, prior to being put out on the reservation uh, back in the late 1870s. Um, Ulysses S. Grant happens to be the president uh, that um, signed the declaration granting them their reservation land and when the opportunity presented itself in 2003 for the uh, Saquon um, Band of the um, Indians to purchase this hotel, they felt what a great opportunity to come back home, restore this hotel to the beautiful um, luster that it is today uh, and operate as a luxury collection hotel here in San Diego. Uh, so again, this morning we have an opportunity to showcase many attributes of the hotel and we look forward to doing that with you. 往酒店里走一遭，意外发现有很多小地方还保有原来的风貌，像这个完全手工绘制的天花板，已经有超过百年的历史，还有增添这座酒店富丽堂皇感觉的水晶宴会厅，这可是一家接待过十四任美国总统的历史酒店，可以想象有多少政商名媛曾经在这里翩翩起舞。有多少国际社交场合在这个宴会厅热闹举行过？想着想着，思绪不由得掉进时光机里。这就是这家饭店给旅客的一种怀旧复古的感觉。We have now moved to the hotel's celestial ballroom. This beautiful space has a storied past, first opening as the hotel's uh, bivouac grill, uh, the sites of the hotel's uh, first restaurant, um, mentioned for uh, its European flair, known for its European flair and cuisine. Uh, as time passed through the years and trends changed and taste buds changed, the hotel converted it more to a cafeteria-style uh, restaurant, and then in the 1920s converted it to the Plateau Real. Uh, known as the hotels in one of the city's uh, bustling uh, nightclubs. Uh, it also entered the era of prohibition uh, where it was known as one of the city's speakeasies where the uh, current owner, Mr. Baron Long, uh, utilized some of the um, tunnels that ran uh, through the city into the um, hotel, uh, bringing salt water to the salt baths here in the hotel. He also utilized those for bringing in alcohol um, and allowed the hotel to run profitable uh, during a very difficult economic time. Uh, as times continued on uh, and we hit the 1940s, this space uh, actually was converted to the Little Club, uh, known for the dancing spot here in San Diego with big band music uh, and dancing uh, to the sounds of uh, Glenn Miller and Tommy Dorsey. Um, and then as we've continued through the years and renovated this space uh, into con current day, uh, it's known for its uh, celebratory uh, aspects, hosting several weddings and receptions uh, and gala dinners uh, in the, uh, this beautiful space here in San Diego. Um, the room is decorated uh, to really represent a lot of the tribal uh, elements as well as San Diego with the sky blue, uh, as well as uh, representing the ocean here in San Diego, and then the earth tones representing the earth uh, bringing back um, to nature uh, what this land was originally meant to be. Uh, again, a very, very beautiful space uh, with many opportunities to celebrate uh, here in San Diego at the U.S. Grant. 入住这家优雅且具有历史的酒店，您可以在圣地亚哥的中心体验豪华的住宿、优越的服务和设施，如同圣地亚哥给人的感觉一样。进入这家酒店，也有徜徉在蓝天碧海。被大自然所包围的舒畅感觉，这样的氛围当然是经过酒店管理者缜密的构思。原来酒店内主要用色
分为上下两层颜色，上层象征是蔚蓝的天空，下层则是代表自然大地的土黄色。这样巧妙玩搭色彩的游戏，确实让人提升度假的兴致，加倍的心旷神怡。再仔细欣赏酒店大厅的摆设装潢，宝蓝色绒布的长沙发，搭配咖啡色系的单人座，加上透明几净的长桌及新鲜花卉的点缀，无不凸显这家酒店。高贵典雅的特色，也让游客马上感受到贵宾级的礼遇。酒店的房间小而精美，最大的特色就是床头柜上相当现代又有艺术感的绘画，而且每间房间的画都不一样，让人不禁好奇，想逐间欣赏，不想错过这难得的酒店艺术画廊。再来瞧瞧酒店房间的尊贵服务吧，如同大厅给人的感受，这整座酒店不论到哪一个楼层，装潢或用色都给人相当宽阔自然的一致感受。一进酒店房间，桌上摆着多种精致的迎宾水果及床上摆的精美巧克力，不禁让疲惫的旅客感到分外的贴心，宾至如归。We've now moved to one of the, pent or the presidential suites here in the hotel. This is the penthouse suite up on the 11th floor. It's one of three presidential suites that we boast here at the U.S. Grant um, because over the years we've had the opportunity uh, and the pleasure of hosting 14 of our United States presidents. Most recently was George W. Bush that stayed with us. Uh, this space here up on the 11th floor was built after the hotel originally opened uh, in the 1930s and it was commissioned uh, and built and uh, designed to be the, one of the first radio stations here in San Diego because it was uh, located on one of the highest points here in San Diego with two radio towers uh, with antennas um, extending from the roof sites. Franklin Delano Roosevelt was one of the presidents who actually stayed here in the suite uh, and utilized it for a radio address in the 1940s. Um, the hotel, again, being um, based here in San Diego, down in the center of San Diego, uh, up here on the 11th floor, has um, beautiful panoramic views from this suite itself. Um, the suite, again, is designed very similar to the Celestial Ballroom that we were in with some of the, the colors that we saw down there with the, the blue skies, uh, the blue walls representing uh, the ocean as well as the sky, and some of the earth tones um, surrounding the room here itself. 旅游达人一定知道，有些酒店以特色闻名，或是以服务著名，或是以高等级的住客享受，让人趋之若鹜。当然，也有像 The U.S. Grant 这样以舒适床铺吸引住客的酒店，像是厚实又轻软的棉被、弹性极佳的床垫及许多大大小小的松软枕头、抱枕等。这样颜色轻柔又典雅的百床布置，难怪让人马上进入梦乡，彻底解除旅途上的疲劳。